Good morning, folks. It is yet another calm day on the sun. No Earth-directed eruptions, no big coronal holes, not much in the way of sunspots or X-ray flux, but we do have plasma filament activity becoming relevant over the limb here, turning to face Earth over the next few days and presenting an eruption threat. As we come to spaceweathernews.com, we see what I mentioned a moment ago. The solar flaring X-ray flux is on the floor as the spots are not performing. One's leaving the disk, another too far incoming, with the Earth-facing spots down south totally positive and passive, with virtually no chance to mix magnetically with negative umbras today. Top space weather story is at Earth. A second wave in the coronal hole stream bumped the speed and density up as a tiny but disruptive shock wave that caused large magnetic pulsations throughout the planet and has sent us back into a geomagnetic storm at level 1, lighting up the auroral circle. The coronal hole stream is divided into two parts because of the shape of the opening, a transequatorial bulk with a northern portion and some trailing behind. On Gong, you see that indeed there is a trailing hook back down and some magnetic islands trailing back up towards the pole. Coronal field opening likely let out a nice puff to enhance the stream already coming out. Let's go straight down through the atmosphere to find Australia still in the throes of that cold wave we dissected before. That southern chill from Antarctica refuses to stop coming in. Looking at the tropics, we find those same systems in play in the West Pacific, got some in the Central Pacific as well, and in the Eastern Pacific things are heating up, and that one may have been foreseeable last Thursday when the crustal activity rose in Mexico. We have often seen large earthquakes or volcanoes kick in after a long period of inactivity right before the tropical storms pop up. We could see earthquakes nearby on the fault over the coming days as well. Top weather alert of the day goes to the United States. A big low pressure mass is drawing in cold, dry air from the north and slamming it into warm, moist air coming north from the Gulf of Mexico. These areas take tonight's top alerts and we're talking about major windstorms, lightning, flood potential, probably tornadoes as well. Eyes on it. In Europe, that same flow off the Atlantic around the southern portions of the lows is pulling the top alerts for Europe. Lots and lots of rain coming down here and extending further east inland. We've got your current conditions and shots of our star to close. It's 6.25 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.